Hello dear viewers, welcome back to Cybrosis. So today in this video, I'll teach you how to consider public holidays as well as mandatory days inside the time of module of Odoo 70. Let's split them into two. First, let's take the public holidays. Now what are these public holidays? Public holidays are the holidays which is coming throughout the year. So we might be having holidays like Easter, Independence Day, Republic Day, then we have Christmas and so on. So throughout the year you have these kinds of holidays and those holidays can be called as public holidays. So inside the time off you can actually you know configure this inside it and this will be shown inside the calendar view. So that's the public holidays. Next let's come to the mandatory days or stress days. So you're setting a day as a mandatory day. Let it be coming, I mean, I mean, let it be inside a weekend or let it be on a public holiday or whatever it is, okay? So, it doesn't matter on which day that stress day or the mandatory day lies on, it is compulsory or mandatory for the employees to work on that day. Say I am creating a public, I mean, sorry, a stress day on a weekend, okay? So, it doesn't mean you shouldn't work, that means on that particular day you are forced or you're compulsory to work okay so that's the stress day and public holidays so i'm not confusing you guys let's move on to the module and see how to configure both so let me show you how to configure the holidays that is the public holidays as well as the mandatory days in odoo 70. so for that let's open the time of module so here we have the time off i'm opening it and straight away let's go to the configuration and from there let's configure the different leaves okay so today we are talking about public holidays as well as mandatory days. Well, before going to configuration, let me say once you open the dashboard here on the right side of the screen, you can see how many mandatory days are there, how many public holidays are there and so on. And this will be reflected here in the dashboard as well. So let's go to configuration and there I'm going to create a new public holiday. So here you have a new public holiday called public time off. I'm going to create one called Republic Day. Okay. So this is a new public holiday which I'm going to create. So let it be Republic Day and I'm putting the date also here. Okay, it is going to start and end on the same day. Okay, now here you can choose the standard working hours. So I'm putting it as uh, 40 hours per week. And here I've created a new public holiday. So let's go to my time. Uh, let's go to the dashboard and see whether it's reflected on the calendar. Okay, so... Let's go and see. Here you can see public holiday. Here it shows January 26 as Republic Day. Okay, and some other day is also pre-configured, which is February 13th as a public time off. Okay, so once you create a public holiday that will be shown here. Okay, whatever date and month and all you're giving, that will be shown here in the public holiday section. Next comes an important part, which is the mandatory days. So mandatory days are simply days on which you can't take a leave. Okay, if you set, if, if the company is setting a day as mandatory day, on that mandatory day, you can't take a leave. So if you are taking a leave means that won't be, you know, that is you can't take a leave until or unless you get an approval from the manager or higher authorities. Okay, so let me show you. Now, currently I'm logged in as Michelle Edmund, okay, which is actually the admin position. Let's go to configuration and there you have this mandatory days. So we've already created, I mean, there are already two mandatory days. I'm going to create a new one. So let it be on April 30th, okay? So I'll create as mandate, sorry, mandatory day. And here I'm choosing the date. Okay, so I'm choosing 30th as the day. Okay, start and end day should be given, okay? So, it's a single day, that is April 30th, I'm considering it as a mandatory day. And you can choose the color to show that date on the calendar. So, I've chosen a color. Now, if you go to my time off, I mean my time, and there if you choose the dashboard. Okay, so just scroll down and on April 30th, you can see it's colored as purple and it shows mandatory days. So, here under the mandatory section, you can see mandatory day has been added. Now let's see creating a leave request on that day. So for that, what you have to do is you have to log out of this admin position. Okay. And I'm logging in as demo. Okay. So it's my demo. He's not a person of the administration department. So here I'm opening time of module. Now, as you can see, he only have access on 
these two topics i mean these two menus okay so you can see my time and overview and if you just scroll down on my time dashboard here you can see 30 is shown as a mandatory day okay i'm going to create a new leave so you can choose the time of type so i'm choosing it as an unpaid time and you can choose the date here so i'm choosing the date as 30 okay so given the date now you can choose whether it's half day or if you want to set as custom hours whatever it is so i'm choosing a whole day and based on the time the hours will be taken if you want to add a description you can add a description for your new time off and then you can simply save it so once you save it you can see a validation error has appeared what is the message there you are not allowed to request the time off on a mandatory day so that's how the mandatory days work once you consider or set a day as mandatory day you are not supposed or allowed to take a time off request on that day you can simply close it save and close it again you can see the same thing so that's how you do the mandatory days okay so that's all about the public holidays and stress days which is the mandatory days i hope it's clear for you guys thank you so much for watching see you in the next video